Hi, I'm Kat Loshebeck. I'm the Policy and Technical Director at Watershed Management Group. Welcome to my home composting toilet. And today I'm going to be doing my weekly maintenance and uh, kind of stepping through that process just to keep my composting toilet up and running and ready for use on a daily basis. So the first step is this handy dandy composting crank. It's actually made here locally in Tucson with a local family. And just for safety reasons, um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but I'm wearing a glove. Just I'll, you'll see why in a minute um, as we go through the process. So open the toilet seat, take off my cover lid and this seat doesn't stay open so I just keep it closed. And what I'm going to do is just slowly crank through, kind of churn and aerate and that way it helps add oxygen to the composting process. I'm getting a little whiff of ammonia and that just means um, it may be going slightly anaerobic and so that's without oxygen and then it may have a little too much nitrogen in the system so at the end of this process I'll be adding sawdust to help bring that back into balance and then essentially smell is just information it just means that some maintenance needs to happen and that's what we're doing this isn't a, a gross process if you're just looking in you should just be seeing some composted like substances you don't really see fresh turds or anything and I'm just giving it kind of like a little bit of a workout make sure you get your legs into it so you're not using your back as you pull up the other important thing is there's a urine diversion cup in there so making sure you're not getting sawdust in that urine diversion as you mix the material so then when I'm done with that it's good and well I'm going to take some toilet paper so this is the importance of having a glove on whatever hand this is a little more of a yucky process but it's not too bad it doesn't actually even smell bad I just give the cr compost crank a wipe and toss the sawdust in pull off my glove because I'm done with the icky business and I'm going to give a squirt to the toilet paper I just threw in that helps wet it down and then some great wood shavings from a local uh, carpenter that provides me his waste product I turn into a resource and then I'm just going to give a couple healthy doses of sawdust to help balance that system and just give a nice cover material so when you look in all you see is sawdust you will notice that I'm also rinsing the urine diversion you may have noticed some fungus gnats flying out when I was doing this so it is spring so in terms of fungus gnat prevention I'm going to add a, a urine puck you don't really want to touch it it's kind of nasty I just drop it right into the urine diversion and within a few days those fungus gnats will be completely knocked back now the most important thing is making sure I adequately cover so that way no additional insects can get into my system so that's it how long did that take a couple minutes uh, four minutes all right so I could probably do that faster if I wasn't talking but uh, the composting life